you guys my name is Kamari and if you're new to my channel welcome so today I'm coming to you guys with an updated video the last time I did one of these was probably about two years ago and my collection has since grew since then today I am doing a purse collection now last time I did a contemporary purse collection but this time I'm showing you guys all the bags that I own and I just think it would be fun to see how my collection has grown over time since the last video, I've gotten rid of some bags and I've added some bags to my collection. And some of which are not only just from contemporary brands, I also have some from Shein, Steve Madden, Guess. So, this might be a long one, so make sure you got you a good meal, a good drink, whatever you do when you watch videos, because I be eating when I watch videos the whole time. But, let's get into this video. So I'm going to start off by showing you my collection by brand. And of course, the first one that I'm going to show you is Coach because I have so many Coach bags. This makes up a large portion of my collection. So the first bag that I'm going to start with is my Coach Cassie camera bag. Now this is my only Coach retail bag. The rest of my bags are from the outlet. And I love this bag so much. I love the leather on it. I love the style of it. I feel like this is such a good grab and go bag like in the summertime and all of that. And I will be linking videos and playlists down below in case you want to see detailed videos on this bag. But I really love this bag. I love the two zipper compartments on it. And yeah, and I really like this pink on it too. The next bag is the bag that I got last year during Coach's Butterfly Collection. And this one can double as a wristlet or a purse. This is the Coach Nolita 19. I own three of these. This is what it looks like. I just love this one so much. It's so pretty. So next, I'm gonna show you my other Nolita. This one is in the color bold pink. When I saw this bag, I knew I had to grab it because I love the quilting on it and the color as well as the chain detailing. Not all of Coach's Nolitas come with the chain, so I really appreciated that detail on it. And this is my final Nolita. This is a Nolita 19 in the horse and carriage print, and I really like this. And I also like the feel of the leather on it as well. One thing I love is a good camera bag, and unfortunately, or fortunately, I have a lot of them. So let's get into my camera bag. So I have this camera bag from Coach. They no longer sell this one anymore, but this is the Coach uh, mini camera bag. And I really love this one, especially in this white with this dotted signature print. Oh, the, I fell in love with this bag. This is definitely one of the first um, Coach bags that I ever purchased. And I really love this bag so freaking much. This is definitely a good grab and go summertime springy type of bag just because of how small and compact it is but it can definitely fit your essentials so yeah this is the coach mini camera bag so one thing about me is if i like something i'm gonna buy duplicates and i have two of these this right here is my coach penny backpack i believe it's like the penny 22 i think retail has something similar to this out right now this is definitely the outlet version i love this bag so much it's just something so classy and so chic about this leather backpack and like i said if i like it i'm gonna get two so here's the white one and then here is the red one so the next bag that i'm going to show you is one of my favorite bags in my collection i love this bag because it holds so much yet it's a decent size you can wear it with almost anything it's just a great all-around bag and i also like that it has double compartments similar to the coach cassie camera bag that i showed you it just makes organization so easy with this bag and this is none other than the infamous coach jess camera bag I don't know why Coach decided to get rid of this bag. This bag is an awesome bag. It's just, I can't rave about it enough. This is These two bags I will never get rid of just for everything that I mentioned. I love these bags so, so much. These are my Coach Jess camera bags. The next bag that I'm gonna show you is yet another camera bag. And this is the Coach Jamie. Coach replaced the Jess with the Jamie. I don't dislike the Jamie, she's a cute girl. But Coach, how y'all gonna get rid of the two pockets and make us settle for one? Like, come on now. But look, I love my Jamie bag, especially in this colorway. I love the combination of the light khaki, the khaki, and then this beautiful brown trim is just so pretty to me. Oh, and the white signature canvas on the bottom here, just immaculate. Another bag in my collection is this Coach Dempsey camera bag. I love this bag so much. I love this little big pink pouch right here the pink and purple stripes i just think this is so cute and then it has the white leather trim at the top 
and this one came with like a thick guitar strap so yeah also guys because of the way that I store my bags my straps for my bags are just tucked away in the purse so the, all these bags did come with straps I just have them tucked away in the purse so what I said earlier about if I like something I'm gonna buy it again and again so I have the next bag here, which is the Coach Serena Satchel. So I have this in this beautiful orange, which they call mango. This mustard color, I forget this color. And I also have it in the signature canvas with the black top handle. And I just really love the silhouettes of this purse. And that's why I got three. So the next bag that I'm gonna show you is the Coach Marley top handle. I love this bag so much. This was definitely one of the bags that was on my wish list. One thing I love that Coach does is they add this snake print detailing on their bags I just really like that I don't know why I really I think I just am a sucker for snake print that's probably what it is but I love this taupe color in combination with that so yeah again this is the coach Marley tap handle the next bag in my collection is the coach town bucket bag now this bag when it was initially released it came in two sizes the small and the big but I decided to get the big size because I felt like it could hold more and I just really love the simplicity of this black bag it's just so pretty the next bag that I'm going to show you is the Coach Georgie saddle bag and I love this bag so much. This is literally my favorite and go-to fall bag. I love this beautiful brown suede with in combination with the pebbled leather and then the chain strap right here. It also comes with a crossbody strap that's the same as this leather right here and I just love it so much. And I also have some boots that match perfectly with this bag. So the boots with this bag in combination, chef's kiss. I love this bag. This is definitely another bag that will probably never leave my collection. The next bag that I'm going to show you guys is my mini Lily carry-all. I love this bag. It's just a very simple bag. It has a lot of storage compartments in it, so it just makes it easy to carry around. It's a good size, and it also has feet, which I love. It comes with a top handle as well as a crossbody strap. They replaced this bag with another bag, and I just feel like you could dress it up or dress it down. So again, this is the Coach Mini Lily carry-all. So the next bag that's in my collection that I'm going to show you guys is the coach mini camera bag so like I said I have this one as well and then I have this one in the evergreen print I have several pieces in this print I have a wallet a coin purse actually I have two wallets and a coin purse and then of course this bag so again this is the coach mini camera bag in the evergreen print now one thing I like about coach is that they always have affordable dupes in comparison to the higher end luxury brands and one of those bags that they have a dupe for is this bag this is the coach claire and this has been mentioned to be a dupe for the ysl um sunset or something like that i forget which bag it is i'll leave it on the screen and i really like this bag i don't think i will get rid of it ever and then the final coach bag that i'm going to show you is my coach tammy clutch and this is her i really love her it's in this nice quilted leather. Again, like I said, Coach is really good at making affordable dupes for other brands. I feel like this could be comparable to a YSL clutch. So just like Coach, I feel like Michael Kors does an excellent job at offering affordable dupes for popular, more luxury brand items. So the first bag that I'm going to show you from Michael Kors is the Michael Kors extra small Bedford legacy bag. Now this one could also be comparable to the LV, I believe it's like the Nano Speedy or something like that. One thing about me is I love a good brown. So I love the brown trim on it. I love that it comes with little feet. And yeah, and this is the Michael Kors extra small Bedford legacy duffel. So this is the Rhea backpack from Michael Kors. This could also be compared to the LV Palm Springs Mini. This one comes with two straps that are also convertible. So you could wear it crossbody, you could wear it as a backpack, you could wear it over your shoulder. And that's what I love about this bag. It's so cute, so compact. It has numerous storage spaces. I don't think I've ever made a video on this bag, but yeah, this is the Michael Kors Rhea backpack. Now this bag right here is called the Michael Kors Small Chris. I love this bag as well. One thing about me is I love a good neutral and this one has a good combination of that with the taupe, the brown, and the ivory colors. So again, this is the Michael Kors Small Chris and I also love this hang tag detailing on this bag as well. Now this bag right here 
Apparently everybody on TikTok loved my video on it because I think I have like over 100,000 views on this bag. And I don't even post on TikTok like that, but I think people are just obsessed with pink. That's probably why it has so many views. And this is the Michael Kors Jet Set Large Logo Crossbody Bag. And it really is a cute bag. I love the chain detailing on it. I love this really pretty pink. I love the way that this pink looks. It's really the perfect pink to me because I really love pastels. And the last bag that I'm going to show you from Michael Kors is the bag that I'm currently wearing right now. I also recently uploaded a what's in my bag on this. So if you do want to see this bag, go check out that video. But this is the Michael Kors Medium Manhattan Satchel. Again, this is the same shade of pink on the previous bag that I showed you. And it is just so pretty. I love everything about this bag. The silhouette, the studs, the gold detailing, the top handle, the versatility of wearing a top handle or crossbody. There's not enough amazing things that I cannot say about this bag. So the next bag in my collection is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. So this is the Marc Jacobs tote bag in the Jacquard print. I love how sturdy the material is. It also comes with a thick strap and that's what I like about this bag as well. The next bag in my collection is this Kate Spade locket bag. Um, I really like this bag, but I haven't gotten a chance to wear it and I've had it for quite some time, but I definitely want to bring this baby out this spring. I just really love this straw print. It's just so cute and definitely spring and summery. And then of course it has the brown in the back and then it has like this really light gold hardware. So again, this is the Kate Spade Locket Straw Bag. The next bag in my collection is this beautiful, beautiful guess i believe sicily camera bag this bag is so freaking pretty when i saw this bag i fell in love with the style of it as well as the color it also came in other colors as well and it's just so freaking pretty to me like look how pretty this green is i thought about getting rid of it i've tried posting it nobody has ever bought it so i'm like maybe that's a sign that i should keep it if nobody is even trying to get this bag so yeah this is the guess i believe oh no this is the guess hasi but yeah, and I really love this antique gold hardware. I think that's a nice touch as well in combination with this green. The next bag that I'm going to show you guys is also from Guess. Now this one, I forget what it's called, but it's similar to that one. Both of these bags do have like the double zip compartment as well. And I just really like the style and the quality of these bags. So yeah, this is yet another camera bag. The next bag that I'm going to show you guys is this really cute Aldo bag. This is definitely giving spring. I love the straw and the pink together. It's such a pretty combination. I've also done a what's in my bag on this bag as well. The next bag in my collection is another Aldo bag. And as you can see, I'm really liking the light pink. As you can see, I have a ton of bags in that light pink in that light pink color. So yeah, this is another Aldo bag. Next bag that I'm gonna show you guys is a bag that I got from Marshalls. And it's just this really cute butterfly fallish backpack. And it came with this cute pom-pom that isn't removable, but it's super soft and really good quality. And yeah, I don't have much else to say about it, but I just really like this bag. The next bag in my collection is this really cute Nanette Lepore bag. I think I got this from Marshalls as well. I really love this bag. Um, I really love Bucky bags in general, and I just really like that this bag has an exterior pocket where you can put your phone in it. The next bag that I'm going to show you guys is this bag that I believe I got from Nasty Gal. Now, what inspired this purchase is I really love the look of the Dior saddle bag, but of course, your girl is not making Dior saddle bag money yet. Manifestation, period. Uh, but I wanted to just give it a try to see if I would like it anyway. I actually have not worn this bag, but I also can't part ways with it because I really do like the style of this bag. I also like that it did come with a shoulder strap as well as a crossbody strap. The next bag that I have in my collection is the Steve Madden Barrel bag. It does come with a crossbody strap, but of course I have it tucked away in the bag. But yeah, I tried to get rid of this one as well, but no one is buying it. I do have my Poshmark linked in my description box in case you are ever curious of whether or not I'm selling something. I always post it on Poshmark. And yeah, so I do have this listed on Poshmark, but if nobody's buying it, then maybe that's a sign that I should keep it, right? The next bag that I have in my collection is a Steve Madden book bag. I really like this book bag. I like the color of it. I like the embossment of it. I love the flowers. I just think it's so cute, pink and girly. And yeah, it's very spacious, very large, and yes. And then this is my last Steve Madden bag, and this is the Steve Madden the Donna Tote or something like that. I believe that's what it's called. And I really like this bag, although I don't wear it as often as I would like. But I do like this bag. I also like that it came with like this little organization pouch as well. I think it's so cute and it matches the interior of the bag. 
so yeah and this is just a really cute bag i love i like this bag but i don't wear it and i thought about getting rid of it but i just can't see myself parting ways with this bag the next bag that I'm going to show you guys in my collection is a bag that I bought when I first decided that I wanted to wear purses. Before I was a purse girl, I was a grab your keys and your phone kind of girl, or I would just carry my items in a wristlet. But then I was realizing I need to start carrying purses, and this is that purse. Um, I got this from Forever 21, and yeah, I really like the brown in it and everything. I just can't seem to part ways with it. I thought about getting rid of it, but I'm like, this is like one of my first little purses when I started to try to be a little girly girl. The next bag that I'm going to show you is a bag that I believe that I got from a beauty supply store a long time ago. I think I spent over a certain amount, and they just gave me a free tote bag, and this is the bag. It's really cute. I love the stripes on it. I like that it comes with these little twillies on the side here. Um, it's very big. It's very spacious. It also has a magnetic closure. I don't think I've ever used this bag. I honestly forgot about it because it's been tucked away in my closet. But yeah, this is the tote bag that I got from the beauty supply store. So this is my Bagu Crescent bag. Now, I recently did a What's in My Bag on this bag as well. This is one of those viral TikTok bags. I love this bag so freaking much. And... If you want to see all of my thoughts on this bag, then go ahead and check out my What's in My Bag slash review that I've done on this bag. Now, in the theme of Crescent bags, this one actually is the bag that I got first, and this is from Urban Outfitters. I believe this is called the Darcy Denim Bag. I got this bag first, and I loved it so much that I wanted to get another bag in a different color, and that's how I stumbled across the Bagu Crescent bag. So yeah, I like this one because it has an exterior pocket. I love the relaxed uh, feel that it gives me with, in terms of like the color and like the fabric and everything and yeah okay so the last set of bags that I'm going to show you guys are all of my Shein bags and then one Amazon bag the Shein bags also make up a large portion of my collection as well I'm going to show you guys my belt bags that I got from Shein so this one is one of the belt bags that I've gotten from Shein I really like this one although I haven't worn it in some time but Pretty simple, just a plain black belt bag. And this one is another one. And I don't know why people are calling these like belt bags. I grew up in the era when we used to call these fanny packs, but I guess my age is showing. But yeah, I really like this one. It's like a nude color. And then the last one that I have is this really cute black one. And it has this like antique gold hardware on it. Next is this barrel bag that I got from Shein. I think it's so cute. And I see that these are coming back in style. I really like how grunge it looks. I like the hardware on it. And yeah, it's just really cute. Next is this super cute shoulder bag that I got from Shein. I have yet to wear her yet, but I really do like this bag. And it also came with a crossbody strap as well. Now the next bag that I got from Shein is this denim bag and I thought it was really cute and I also got this cute little organizer for it as well I got that from Shein as well and yeah I just really think it's really cute next is this barrel bag um I didn't like the straps that came with it so I tried to do a little DIY I removed the straps and then put my own strap on it and I just think it looks so much better that way and I'm just gonna try to figure out a way to remove these gold prongs Next is this really cute fuzzy heart bag. I got this for Valentine's Day last year, which surprise, surprise, I have not worn this bag yet either, but I do plan on busting this baby out and I like that it comes with this pom pom on it as well. It's just so cute. Another bag that I got from Shein is this cute shoulder bag. I really love the material on it and I really don't have too much to say about it. The next bag that I got from Shein is this really cute straw bag. It also comes with a crossbody strap, but I just have it tucked in here. And then the last bag that I got from Shein is this really cute tote bag. It's like in this pretty hot pink color and it's kind of puppy. And then the final bag that I'm going to show you guys is this Lululemon dupe bag that I got from Amazon. I got this because I like to go for walks in my neighborhood and I don't feel like carrying my purse all the time. So I'll just get this and grab my essential items and put it in here and then just walk around in the neighborhood and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me some time to record it because I have so many bags. I'm sure there's people with more bags than me, honey. But I have quite a few bags for me. So yeah, this was a lot to do. There's definitely well over 50 bags in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!